Hi, it's Chester Tugwell from Blue Peak and Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the VBA code needed to add a record to an Excel table. So we're going to add a row at the end of this table called Transactions, and then add data in that row. So first of all, we're going to declare a, uh, a variable for the worksheet. That we're currently in and I'm going to set that variable uh, to equal the active sheet. We will declare another variable later on but let's just uh, progress with that. So uh, what we'll do to actually insert the row, you use the list objects property of the worksheets object and that's the list option is a collection and we need to refer to the particular table called transactions as we've named it up here in our Excel worksheet and within that there is a property called list rows and a method called add. Now if you want to add a row at the end of the table you don't need to write anything else but if you want to put it in a particular position like the fourth row or whatever then you could put a numeric value in there we want to add to the end of the table so I'm not going to use that number there now if I ran this as it is it would add a row at the end of the table I'm just going to delete that because not only do we want to add a row but we want to add data to that row now to make this easier, what I'm actually going to do is declare another variable called new row or new record or whatever. Um, and that's going to be uh, for a list row. Now I'm going to set that variable to equal this. So uh, new row uh, well, set new row, set new row to equal this row that I'm adding. That's just to make the code easier uh, down below here. So now I've set an object to that new row variable. I can then specify what goes in each of the cells. So I can say equals new row with new row rather and then I can specify a value for each of the cells within that new row so the first cell I can say equals 9999 that's the transaction ID the second cell I can say equals a date and so on and so forth. I'm going through and add my data. So I won't do all of the cells, but you, that's enough for you to see that this actually works. End with, and that should be everything we actually need. So if I run this macro now you can see it's created the new row and it's added the data okay that's all this video set out to do show you how to add a new record at the end of an existing excel table and add some data to that new row thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been helpful